Welcome to another video at Garage Factory SD. My name is Richard and I'll be showing you how to assemble a PCB board. So I have my solder mask PCB board and my solder stencil that I've made previously on the channel. I will be first placing the solder stencil over the solder mask board. Then I will use these binder clips to securely attach the solder stencil to the board. Once the solder stencil is securely attached to the board, Double check that the cutouts are still aligned with the exposed copper pads. Then I'll be using this solder paste and spread it over the stencil with this putty knife. Get a decent amount of solder paste over the putty knife and then spread it over the stencil. press into the stencil with a knife and spread it evenly as best as possible. Make sure that the solder paste covers all those cutouts on the stencils. Once you think you finished spreading the solder paste over the stencil, carefully remove the binder clips off of the board. And then carefully remove the stencil off the board. Oops. Oh. <laughs> then visually check that the solder paste has been applied onto the copper pads. One thing to note, uh, since this board has been solder mask, applying a little bit too much solder paste might be okay. Once we heat it up, the solder paste will shrink and would adhere the component to the copper. In case I put way too much solder paste, then I would have to do some rework to unsolder the extra solder. Uh, the next step is to place components on the board. Um, so I have pre-placed the components onto this printout of the board. And then I'll just be transferring these components over to the soldered um, paste board. Once you finish transferring over your components to this board, just double check that these components have been placed properly and aligned. All right, now we can move on to the soldering portion of this assembly video.